Okay, Casey 2 IRV back again. Um, this is going to be a short video, mainly because uh, I'm kind of excited. I uh, discovered something new. I don't know if uh, everybody knows about it or not. I'm guessing not. But uh, I want to pass the information along. I know a lot of people are using uh, Max Tracks and GM 300s. Those are you know, Motorola radios that traditionally use a DOS program. Um, to program them in a, in a machine that's usually a Pentium 2 or slower. And that's becoming harder and harder to come by. And uh, they're kind of a slight commodity among people that uh, use these radios. Some people have been using Radio Doctor, which runs on a Windows XP machine, but won't run on anything higher. At least I haven't been able to get it to run on anything higher than Windows XP um, without emulating it somehow. So, what I found out today is how to actually use the original Motorola um, radio service software in Windows 7 and uh, possibly Windows 8 and, and above. Um, radio Doctor works very well for programming frequencies into the radio, programming the channels, but it doesn't allow you to program the pins, the accessory pins of the GM300 or the 16-pin Max Track. Um, or allow you any of the service functions of the radio. Um, this uh, solution here is actually from this website. I'll put the link in the description where he uses a DOS box to run as a DOS emulator to run the program. And he goes through the entire uh, list here of steps in order to get this to work. And it worked perfectly for me with one glitch. So anyway, just to prove it on camera, this is my GM300, excuse the mess that's on my desk, and I'm using a Maxton adapter. This is a squid cable that does a whole bunch of different Motorola radios. So and a USB to serial adapter. There will be a note about this later. It's the one little hitch I ran into. So, anyway, just to prove it to you, I'm going to hit Get Save, which is F3. Oh, i got to click on the box. F3, Get Save. And uh, as it's doing that, you have to adjust the CPU speed, the cycles, down to 191 cycles, and exactly 191, nothing more, nothing less, otherwise you'll get an opcode error when it tries to read the radio. So anyway, and I hit F2 to read the radio. Sure enough, uh, it's beginning to read the radio, you can see the little, uh, it's hard to see, but the little light is blinking on my uh, adapter here, come on with the lights on my USB to serial adapter. And there it is. I successfully read the radio. Now if I hit F10, go back, and hit F4 to change view code plug data. Um, then I go to the mode configuration, which is F5. There's my channel data. So, hit F10 again, F10 again, We'll go to Get Save, F3, and we'll write it. It goes a little slow, but uh, it does work. Come on, there you go. All right, uh, then F8 to program the radio, F8, hit F2 to continue, and it will program the radio. Um, in order to get this to work, you have to map, you have to mount the folder that you have the GM300 program in, um, in the uh, in the program. Uh, that is the uh, DOSBox program. So I will uh, kind of show you how to do that in a minute once this gets done programming. But I'm going to try this with other uh, Motorola software, MaxTrack, MTSX, um, Spectra, and 
others. I want to see if they work the same way. In theory, they should, um, but we'll see. So anyway, that's done. So let's uh, exit out of the program. Exit. Exit all the way out. So we're there. So anyway, I'll close the program, and I have it down here on my desktop. DOS box. It'll come up, and you'll get a Z prompt. Okay, I have, I have my uh, GM three hundred software saved right in the root of my drive C colon. So in order, you need to map that drive in DOSBox in order to be able to access it. So you do mount, and I'm going to map it to the D drive letter. So mount D, and then the drive path and folder of your GM300 software, which is GM300 DOS. Okay, and then I hit that. And it'll tell me that it's mounted. So that uh, G, uh, C colon GM300 DOS is now essentially D colon. So if I go to D colon, hit DIR, there's my software. If I type in GM300, the program will run. You notice when it runs a program, though, it says it says three, 300 cycles. And I'll show you what happens when it's running like that. So I go. Uh, get save f3 and I do read radio and this is what will happen yep invalid op code oh, focus going a little funny but uh, here we go Ooh, let's see if we can do this with one hand here I'm holding it, doing this with my phone so if I go control f11 you'll see you actually see it go down oh I missed it Go down to 191 cycles, and then if I hit F2, oh, no acknowledge. If it does that, power cycle the radio. Oh, trying to do this one-handed is a pain. Hang on. I'm going to get a nice view of my desktop. And there we go. Power cycle the radio. And then hit... F2. There we go. And there she goes. It'll read the radio and work just fine. The one thing I did run into though is my my PC does have a uh, motherboard uh, mounted COM port, you know, serial port. And for some reason, when you try to use that serial port, it will not allow you to get down 100 down 191 cycles. So I kind of fought with it, fought with it, didn't work. I decided to use my uh, my little USB to serial adapter that I use for work. And sure enough, I was able to get down 191 cycles, and it programmed the radio perfectly. So I would advise if you're going to try to do this. You have problems with your onboard COM port with getting down to 191 cycles, um, use a USB, serial to USB adapter. So um, that's it for now. I'm going to try other programs and I uh, will check in and uh, let uh, everybody know how I made out because this is definitely going to resurrect a lot of those older radios that uh, are only DOS programmable. You know, everything from the uh, Centaur X9000s and the Spectras, Max Tracks, um, GM300s, stuff like that. So, and uh, I have to say, this guy, his name is Mitch Martin. I have to thank him. I stumbled across this, and he has download links for all this stuff. Um,. And it's pretty concise. Works uh, very well if you follow his directions. So uh, that's it for now. And I uh, hope this works for other people. Um, if anybody needs any help with it, let me know. And uh, I'll certainly try to help. I'm no expert at it. But uh, I can certainly um, let you know what I've tried. And maybe give you a little helping hand to get, to get it to work. So anyway, if... Uh, 
You know, you have any comments, any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. My email address uh, says always, uh, kilocharlie2indiaradiovictor at gmail.com.